Hey guys, so recently I asked if you wanted to see my favourite Urban Decay eyeshadows. I was going to limit it to 10 and do a top 10, but um, I'll probably go over that. So um, yeah, this is just going to be my favourite Urban Decay eyeshadows. Uh, they're all in palettes because I don't buy them singularly. Uh, I don't know, I just I love the palettes. So they're all in palettes, but um, yeah. I don't, I don't know whether some of them are exclusive to palettes or not, so forgive me if they are. But uh, these are just my favourites and uh, a lot of you said you would like to see what they were. So first of all, um, this is the Book of Shadows Volume 4. Uh, this one was released last year and there are quite a few eyeshadows in this that I absolutely adore. Uh, the first one being Skimp, which is this one here. It's beautiful. It looks like kind of just such a nothing colour really. But it's a beautiful highlight colour. It's got a slight sheen to it, not too much. It's kind of like a milky colour. It's really beautiful and it is just the highlighter of choice that I use. I also have it in the Mariposa palette. So that is Skimp, just there. Another one that I absolutely love from this palette and is a firm favourite of mine is, uh, whoops, going the wrong way, is Bust. It's this beautiful kind of taupey, got a nice violet undertone to it. It's like a mink colour and I absolutely love Bust. So those two definitely are favourites, absolutely. The next couple that are my favourites, absolutely hands down, and I actually have them in the uh, Mariposa palette, but this I'm going to show you the smoked palette because the shadows are easier to see, they're bigger. So first of all is Mushroom. I love Mushroom, it's this one here, it is so beautiful, it's a really really nice, I mean you'd think it was just like a really kind of boring grey, but it has a really nice kind of silvery kind of chocolatey tinge up to it that is really unusual so it's not just your average grey it's beautiful I really love this colour and the other one that is a favourite of mine that I use all the time is Rockstar which is the purple one here can't see what I'm doing there we go um, and Rockstar is just stunning I use her so much I just adore purples and these two together are absolutely phenomenal so Mushroom and Rockstar are definite favourites Moving on, so that's four so far. I might be able to keep it within the 10, who knows? But moving on, this is the Naked 2 palette. I have so many favourites from the Naked 2 palette. I think pretty much all of it is a huge favourite of mine, but I will just pick a couple. Uh, the first one, which I have just used and used and used, I don't know whether they sell this in a, in a, like a single one, but I really hope they do. It's Suspect. And it's this one here. This one here. It's <laughs> so difficult and uh, it looks like this. It's just beautiful. It's like, I don't know whether I can describe it really well. It's kind of like a silver but it has like a nice kind of bronzy undertone to it. It's a really strange colour but I wear this, uh, you know, just when I need to throw something on. I wear it so often and it's just so beautiful. It's so multi-dimensional as well that you would think that you were wearing more than one eyeshadow. It's kind of like a pewter, that's the word. I knew it would come to me eventually. It's like a pewter and I just think it's beautiful. It's so gorgeous. There you can see it looks a little bit bronzier than it actually is, if it will focus. Um, yeah, you can see it's a little bit more bronze there. But on the eyes, the pewter definitely comes out in it. So Suspect is a huge favourite of mine. Um, the other couple from this palette that I just adore and I just would definitely repurchase are Verve and Pistol. So all the ones that are together, really, these three are my favourites. So this is Verve. This is a beautiful, beautiful warm silver and you don't come across warm silvers very often they're usually very kind of icy and white but this one is just gorgeous it's very very warm and it looks beautiful with suspect so that's verve really pretty so that's verve the bottom one there really pretty and the other one, as I said, was Pistol, which is kind of like, it's like a, it's like a silvery grey. It's very difficult to explain. It's this one here. It's difficult to kind of describe, but it, it's kind of like a silvery grey. It has a kind of like a green tinge to it as well. Very strange. Whether it will show up on camera. But um, really, really pretty. And these three I often wear together. 
So that is pistol up the top there. Gorgeous, I really like those three. So how many is that for? Seven, so that's seven, I've got three left. Can I do it? Can I do it? Who knows, let's see. Moving on to uh, the 15th anniversary palette. Looks like this for anybody that doesn't know. My absolute favorite eyeshadow, um, I think probably ever. Can I say that? I don't know. Maybe ever is Chase. Um, it's this one down here. And it is just stunning. It just verges, it kind of hits all the right notes between being a bronze and like a very pale gold. It's just, it's so pretty. It's just so pretty. Let's see if I can swatch it for you. Um, and swatched, it looks a little bit bronzier than it actually is. But it's, it's, it's just beautiful. So that's Chase. Really gorgeous, tarnished kind of bronzy color. A little bit of silver in it. So that's Chase, that's a favorite. And I would say, I really, really, really like Omen. So that's, that's nine, oh my goodness. I really like Omen, I don't know. Is it a favorite? I don't know, but I do like Omen. Just as an honorable mention, Omen is this one here, it's the purple. Really pretty, I mean really pretty. So that's Omen. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do like a, a top 10 like I thought. Hey ho, never mind. So, um, let me see. <sighs> let me see. So yeah, Omen is beautiful, I love Omen, it's gorgeous. This is the Build Your Own palette. Um, you can customize it and uh, do all sorts of things with it. You can, um, it comes with Walker Shane, and I think they're actually bringing out new ones for the holiday season that come with sort of different eyeshadows and not just Walk of Shane as the one that always comes in the palette, which is a good idea. Okay, so um, let me see. Yeah, it's not gonna be a top 10. Absolutely not. There's gonna be more than that. So I have to mention Stray Dog. Stray Dog is absolutely a go-to of mine. It is such a beautiful color. It's like a really nice taupey, minky color. It's absolutely stunning. I love it really pretty um it's just it's so pretty let me see swatch it for you i do like stray dog it's it's just i think it's like a classic shade from urban decay as well so stray dog is the one at the top really gorgeous really really gorgeous absolute must-have shade in my opinion so that's stray dog and uh, the other one, which I just adore, is Last Call. I adore Last Call eyeshadow. It's so unusual. Just completely unusual. I really like it. And it's a really nice kind of red-toned purple without making you look like you've been crying. You know, because you get... It's very difficult to come by a really nice kind of red-based purpley colour. So that is Last Call. And it's just beautiful. So that's last call. And another one, and I think that's probably probably my last one. That's more than ten, I know it is. Another one would probably be Maui Wowie. Which is this one here. The only thing I would say about Maui Wowie is that it does have some glitter in it. Uh, which will kind of occasionally fall out. But other than that, it's a beautiful colour and I do tend to wear that all over the lid uh, with something just a little bit darker in the crease. But you can you can kind of combine it with all sorts of colours, greens and purples and everything and browns. And it just works so well. So that is Maui Wowie. Isn't it pretty? Really beautiful. But as I said, it does have glitter in it. As you can see, the glitter's picking up there. Not too much, but... I think it'd be really pretty without the glitter. I don't know. So, those are my top Urban Decay eyeshadow picks. Um, I'm not quite sure how many that was. More than 10, I know that. Those are my top picks for Urban Decay eyeshadows. Uh, just my favourites, and I said, as I said, they're all in palettes, so I'm not quite sure whether you can buy them individually. Apologies if you can't. But, um, yeah, I would definitely recommend those eyeshadows to everyone. I think they're kind of core eyeshadows that I would, if I could only have some eyeshadows from Urban Decay, I'd definitely pick those. They're really, really nice. Um, and I love Urban Decay eyeshadows. I love their palettes. They're just really second to none. They're absolutely stunning quality. So there you go. So you asked to see my favourites, and those are my favourites. It's so difficult to to choose because I have so many, but I really wanted to just keep it within like 
just kind of a kind of a small number otherwise I'd just be here all day so um yeah if you want to see any of my other kind of favorites if you want to see like favorite palettes or if you want to see an overview of the palettes that I've got from Ever Decay um leave me a comment down below and I'll be sure to do that for you because uh, I do own quite a few of their palettes so if you want to see and what which colors are in the palettes and stuff then I'll go through that for you if you're interested or if you just want to see like an overview of all the palettes that I have let me know um I think that would be kind of an interesting video you tell me. So yeah, I hope you're having a wonderful day guys and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye everyone.